I'd especially like to welcome everybody who's joining us for the very first time. Can we give it up for our first time guests? And we know what it can be like when you go into a place for the very first time. So I'd just like to take a moment and highlight some of the things that you received in the worship guide on your way in this morning. Starting with some sermon notes. We're in a series called Stripped. So I would encourage you to take some notes. Pastor Justin has a great message. So you'll be able to refer back to them throughout the week. You'll also find a giving envelope. If you came prepared to give today, we're going to do that at the end of service. If you did not come prepared to give, but you would like to do so, you can always do that securely online at theactionchurch.com. I'd also like to highlight a connection card. The connection card is found on the bottom of those sermon notes. We ask that you take just a minute during service, fill out that connection card, and then right after service, take it with you to the Black New Here tent. We have a free gift for you just for being here. We're not going to do anything awkward or uncomfortable with that information. We simply want to send you a note from our lead pastor, Pastor Justin, and give you some next steps. Well, speaking of next steps, today is the fourth Sunday of the month. So that means that it's action step number four. Yes. Action step four is our A-team step. It gives you an opportunity to find out about all of our different ministries, different ways that you can serve and get plugged in here at Action Church. So whether you're the outgoing type and you want to hear more about being in our parking lot or an usher or a greeter, or maybe you're someone that's a little more reserved and you want to find out about our production team with all the cameras and things going on, or maybe our administrative team, or also find out more about our kids area, all of those you can find out at Action Step 4. Again, that's right after both services today. If you head out the doors and to the left, free food and free child care will be provided at Action Step 4 today. So I encourage you to go and, and hang out with us for a little bit. Well, at this point, what I'd like to do is pray not only for our service, but a couple other services that are happening in our community. Would you please pray with me? God, we love you so much. And we just thank you for everything that you're doing in each of our lives. God, we know that all of us were created on purpose and for a purpose. And so I just pray that you would speak that to us today, God. We know that it's not just about us here at Action Church, so we lift up Landmark Community Church and Altamont Church of Christ. God, we, we pray over their leaders. God, we pray over their congregation at that, and that they would continue to move uh, in their cities. God, we love you so much. It's in your holy name that we pray. Amen.
worship a holy God this morning. He's all powerful. Come on, why don't we lift up his name together today? Let's just worship him with all that we have, with all that we are. Come on, lift your voice and sing. The head that once was crowned with us is crowned with glory. Now, the Savior now to wash our feet. Now at His feet we bow. The one who wore our sin and shame is now robed in majesty. The radiance of perfect love now shines for all to see. Your name, your name is victory, and all praise will rise to Christ our King. Your name. Your name is victory, and all praise will rise to Christ our King. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. The fear that held us now gives way. To him who is our peace, his final breath upon the cross is now alive in me. We lift you up, Lord, cause your name, your name is
The two were soldiers who watched in vain Was borrowed for three days His body there would not remain Cause our God has robbed Come on, let your voice and sing And our God has robbed us to be in church today? Yeah. Me too. And I love worshiping with you here at Winter Springs. Love everything that's happening at Oviedo as well this morning. So glad that you're joining us right now live. I want, I want to read a scripture to you. Thank God this week that he didn't change my, uh, <laughs> what I prepared. Last week was amazing, but a little nerve wracking as well when you just get up and start talking and you don't know what you're going to say. Some of us do that too often. You know what I mean? We just start talking. <laughs> you should prepare more. Half the room here at Winter Springs thought that was funny. Hopefully you got a kick out of that at Oviedo. I'm gonna come preach live there next week. Just kidding. Philippians chapter two, I wanna encourage you real quick. And this song is so powerful. The resurrected king is, is resurrecting me. I love how it starts where it gives us this comparison of all the things that Jesus did and then what happened after the fact when he died and he rose again, that he washed our feet, he came to serve, but then now we bow at his feet as the resurrected king and the difference it makes between what happened on the cross and the sacrifice and then as he rose again three days later. It's illustrated in Philippians 2. I wanna read you verses one through 11 this morning. I think it'll be encouragement to all of us, especially in this series on, on relationships. Check it out, verse one, it says, is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and one purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try and impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out for only your own interests, but take interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Here's what I wanna talk about this morning. Though he was God, he did not think equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges he took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. 
When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. You know, we talked about that last week, Jesus Christ dying for you and for me. Now that's pretty amazing, that's pretty crazy, the ultimate sacrifice that he died in our place. Are you thankful for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ? Are you thankful for that this morning? You know, we were, we were studying this week on Tuesday night at, at our ALA, our Action Leadership Academy. And if, if you're not a part of our Tuesday nights, next semester, you gotta sign up. It, it is one of the best things we do at Action Church. I spent a couple of hours with our leaders, about 65 of us in our little office, and they've been learning about world religions, and they've been learning about some of the different uh, methodologies and religions around the world. And it's fascinating to me that people spend their whole life giving to something, serving something, pursuing something that is dead. You know, we're the only religion on this earth that doesn't go to a grave, that doesn't go to a site where our Lord and our Savior, the leader, the figure of this thing is still in a grave. You ask a Muslim where their, their leader is, they go and point to a grave. You ask a Mormon where their leader is, they go and point to a grave. You ask a Buddhist where their leader is, they go and point to a grave. But if you ask me where my Savior is, I don't show you a grave. I show you an empty grave, but I point to a throne in heaven where the resurrected King is resurrecting me. So what if we say it together this morning, church, both locations here with Springs and Oviedo, the resurrected King not in the grave. He's not dead. He is lifting you up today. The things that were dead are now coming to life in Jesus. situations all across our locations today, that things that were dead would be made new and alive, that the resurrected King is resurrecting us this morning. We love you and we praise you in this place. Everybody said, amen. Can we give God one more shout of praise this morning? What an awesome, what an awesome time together.